Hi friends, so today we'll be talking about, ah, you can see so many, uh, what you can see, <laughs> you can see a lot of ovaries and then you have ovules which are attached to it. Yes, today we'll be talking about placentation. You remember the arrangement of uh, leaves on the stem, we refer to as phyllotaxy. Uh, how the floral whorls, they are arranged to each other, that is referred to as estivation. And uh, how your, uh, what you call as flowers are arranged on that axis, that is what is called as inflorescence. So many names here, right? Anyways, today we'll be talking about placentation. So arrangement of ovules within the ovary, right? So you have a particular um, uh, ovary and how the ovules are arranged in this ovary, that particular um, arrangement is what is called as your placentation, right? So ovary may ovules kaise arranged hai? हमको पता है कि बाद में क्या होने वाला है कि ओवरी का फ्रूट होने वाला है और ओव्यूल का सीड होने वाले हैं और आप वो खाने वाले हैं एनीवेज सो हाउ द ओव्यूल्स आर अरेंज्ड इनसाइड द ओवरी इफ यू कैन नॉट सी द ओव्यूल्स इन द ओवरी सी द सीड इन द फ्रूट एनीवेज सो रिमेंबर व्हाट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर हियर यहां पे याद क्या रखना है कि अरेंजमेंट ऑफ ओव्यूल्स इन द ओवरी इज कॉल्ड एज प्लासेंटेशन सो देयर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स एज यू कैन सी हियर Biology में से एक टाइप चल के चलता नहीं ना वी हैव लॉट ऑफ बायोडायवर्सिटी राइट दिस नॉट बायोडायवर्सिटी एनी वेज बट देन ये दिस ऑल मेक्स दिस बायोडायवर्सिटी सो मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ अरेंजमेंट अपटिल नाउ वॉट वी हैव डिस्कवर्ड राइट और वॉट इज देर इन द सिलेबस फॉर योर नीट राइट सो देर माइट बी मेनी मोर सो यू हैव मार्जिनल प्लेसेंटेशन सो मार्जिन आपको पता है लाइक like, आप मार्जिन कहाँ ड्रॉ करते हैं ऐसे साइड से है ना बीच में नहीं ड्रॉ करते है ना यू नो यू नो द वर्ड मार्जिन पीपल से दैट व्हाट इज देयर इन द नेम इन बायोलॉजी एवरीथिंग इज इन नेम राइट सो टॉक अबाउट मार्जिनल प्लासेंटेशन राइट सो व्हाट इज हैपेंड इज द प्लासेंटा विच इज देयर इट इज प्रेजेंट अलॉन्ग द रिज which is formed the placenta it is actually uh, present at the ridge which is formed at the ventral uh, suture of the ovary right so uh, these particular uh, along the ridge this placenta is present and uh, this particular ovule is present along that ridge you must have seen in mutter and you must have seen in pea uh, i have this sizer I, i didn't get the mutter so i brought the harbara so here you can see that this is forming a ridge here and here there you go you have this particular see probably this might be the ovary and uh, yeah this might be the ovule which is attached there along this side so you can see here this is forming a ridge and this is attached here right so here right it is attached jahan pe ye dono meet honge wahan pe placenta banega aur wahan pe ye kya attached hai aapka ovule now it is a seed right so uh, that forms what is called as a marginal placentation so placenta along the ridge Along the ventral suture of the ovary, and the ovules they are arranged along this particular ridge is your marginal placentation. You have your P as an example in your book. You have any more? Then you have axial placentation, right? You can see as the axil of the wheel, right? So you have the placenta which is now axial, right? And the ovules they are present at the multilocular ovary. यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं बहुत सारे क्या बन गए locules, right? Ah, uh, you have these examples here. Yeah, you can see this tomato, right? <laughs> so here you can literally see that there are many locules which are formed, and you can see many, 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 many ovules coming out. This is seed now. काफी ठंडा है मैंने फ्रिज से निकाला है. Anyways, but here in tomato, you can also clearly see in this lemon. Right, you can see in this lemon, you have all these multilocular ovary. Wow, ऐसे देख के ही आपको खट्टा खट्टा लग रहा है. So here you have these particular ovules which are coming out of this. Right, so the uh, what you call as placenta, it forms an axil, and this particular axial arrangement of placenta in this multilocular, you can see many molecules they are formed. That forms what is called as axial placentation. In China rose, in tomato, and in lemon, remember that. Then you have parietal. From the sides, axial में center में से था, parietal में कहाँ से आने वाला है? From the sides. So ovules are present on the inner wall of the ovary, peripheral. You can see there is peripheral one chambered ovary. Sometimes you will find that uh, there is a formation of a false septum. We we sometimes call it as replum. Anyways, but then it then forms a two chambered. Here we have shown only one chamber. So that particular arrangement is called as your parietal. Ah, here you can see. You don't like this much, right? करवा करेला, you generally don't like good things. 
Anyways, but then here you can see that this is parietal. You can see that the seeds are coming from the sides. You can uh, actually make out here the placenta is at the center and the seeds are coming from the center to the outside. Here you can see that this is peripheral and the seeds are coming from. So maybe ovary was also having placenta in the periphery and the ovules they are coming from the periphery, right? So that particular arrangement, this family you know, Kukurbitesi. My name is Kukreja and this is Kukurbitesi. Anyway, so... Uh, you have mustard and argimon. The example which you have to remember is your mustard and argimon, which has this parietal placentation, ovules coming from the periphery. Then you have free central, where um, you have like similar to axial or exile placentation, but then here there are no locules. You can see everything is free. Kuch bandhan nahi hai. Everything is free. You you love to be free, but remember freedom comes with a lot of responsibility. So, you can see that 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 you can you have a greater responsibility because the direction is up and down, 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 the direction is up and the direction is up and down, the यहां पे आपको कोई सेप्टा नहीं दिख रहे यहां पे आपको सेप्टा दिख रहे थे लॉक्यूल्स दिख रहे थे तो दैट वाज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज योर एक्साइल प्लेसेंटेशन एनीवेज सो दिस इज फ्री सेंट्रल इन डायंथस एंड इन प्रिमरोस वैसा गुलाबी गुलाबी आपने फूल देखा है कहीं ऐसे कांटों में ऐसा आता है दैट इज डायंथस जाके देखो सो यू हैव दिस डायंथस एंड प्रिमरोस एंड दैट हैज फ्री सेंट्रल देन यू हैव बेसल प्लेसेंटेशन ओनली वन particular ovule sitting there near the base so uh, placenta is at the base of the ovary and you have this single ovule so only one ovule is there at the base of the ovary and that forms what is called as a basal placentation in your sunflower and your marigold so marigold when you say marigold so sometimes people say parlegi and crack jack <laughs> so that is not that marigold that flower marigold you know so you have that sunflower and marigold yes but then these also uh, they show this basal placentation. I don't know. I am very doubtful. But you can I hope you can see it. Yeah, that is wheat. Right? Then this is, this is, this is. Abhi kaise dikhe ga, yaar? <laughs> this is, this is your jawar. Right? So this jawar is also a basal placentation. You have these families now included by, um, uh, in your syllabus. That is your gramini or poesy. So remember this gramini or poesy has this basal placentation. Anyways, you also have this sunflower family now. That is your asteraceae. So your marigold sunflower and asters and all. They all belong to this particular family. That is asteraceae which has this basal placentation. Ah, jokes apart, you have these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 types of placentation. So, arrangement of ovules in the ovary, we have said that placentation is on the side, se hai, right? So, placenta forming a ridge and uh, these ovules arranged in two rows, that is marginal. Example is your P. If the placenta is axial and the ovules, they are present in a multilocular ovary, then it is exile. Examples you have to remember is China rose, tomato, oh, tomato and your lemon. Uh, parietal, like ovules, they are there on the inner wall of the ovary and they are present um, from the periphery. Then the ovary is one chambered. Sometimes a false septum may be formed. That is mustard and your argimon. You remember, we also have this mustard family now in your syllabus. That is your brassicaceae or cruciferi or mustard family what you call so there it has this parietal placentation and a false septum just don't tell anyone that is called as replum right there are free central where there are no locules the ovules are coming from the center but there are no partitions there no septa there so that is dianthus and your primrose and basal where there is only one basal uh, ovary with a single ovule marigold and your sunflower Ah, I hope you got these types of placentation. So keep learning and keep studying and keep qualifying and with lots of love and best wishes on this new year. Actually, I was not feeling well, but then it was many days we didn't have this video. So I thought that I'll make it for you. I know the voice was not a bit clear, but <clears throat> I hope I'll get well soon immediately and we'll be back with you uh, with more new videos. So I was also missing you all. So I thought that even if the voice is such, we'll surely have a video. So thank you so much and stay tuned with me, Professor Girish Kukreja.